When a man is dealing with two women, most likely he'll stay with the weak-minded one. The weak-minded one would think that she won because she's with him, but the whole time he's really wishing that he was with the strong one, but too scared to be with the strong one because he's too weak. See, a weak man knows that a strong woman is going to make him level up and become the man that she needs him to be. A weak woman will accept him as is, bad behavior and all because she's weak with a very low self-esteem and he knows that. A weak man can't love a strong woman. He won't know what to do with her. So instead, he settles with the weak woman, wishing the whole time he had the guts to be with the strong woman. That's why it's important that you choose a strong, secure man because a strong, secure man will know exactly how to love a strong, confident woman. Be smart, day smart, choose wisely in that nation. And remember, I told you. I know y'all gonna say I got a problem ordering world famous, but my friend, I got a drink. <laughs> I got a drink, a drinky drink. <laughs> I love you, friend. You want it? You have it. I don't know who need to hear this, but you don't need no one to save you. You don't need no one to make you feel safe. Learn defensive mechanism. Go to a fighting class if you need to learn how to fight. Or learn out the mud. By dragging and swinging. And throw you against the wall. Because I had built up anger issues. Because people try to mold me. Make me mask my opinions, my emotions. Until I realize that I'm the smartest out of my family. And it comes to a point where... I am so happy I'm in a chapter where I get to do the videos I love in a place that I love as soon as I get my place doing makeup tutorials because when you are a baddie when you love yourself you don't even have to be a baddie I if you go to my TikTok video where it says know your worth when I was 12 I always tell myself I'm beautiful once you know you're beautiful there's people it's like you're in a fairy tale movie and if you ever watch Bratz fairy tale where they was little princesses and, you know, Chloe was Rapunzel stuck in the house and Jada was um, Snow White, literally, they end up rescuing their self. Okay? You are beautiful. You don't need nobody to hear that. Sometimes the people that you help are insecure, goblins, gremlins, and you can't let them be affected. Because when you learn to not care... Everybody cares about you. Everybody wants to be near you. Everybody wants to love you. Everybody wants to use you and be your friend. Your job is to not give a fuck and not help the people who can help themselves. It's serious. I'm going to find that movie because you didn't have a good child if you didn't watch every Bratz movie. I mean, every Bratz movie. Georgia and Jenny is a perfect example of pausing before reacting, knowing there's always someone that's insecure, her daughter Jenny, trying to be destructive because in life she feels like there has to be a problem and she wants to be the problem and not enjoy the blessing, you know? But it's just like every teenager. The hormones want to be loved. Confused. Don't know what they want to be. <laughs> I love you guys. Enjoy. Take care of yourself. Work out. Meditate. And journal. And if you need me to do any video, the next video I might do is how to be healthy and mentally healthy for yourself. Because I overcome something so, so important. Bye. I think one of the most attractive things that a woman can do is love herself. A woman that loves herself, sure of herself, and that respects herself, that's a different type of woman. You know, like, that's a goddess, you heard me? Like, um, those are attributes of a goddess. A woman that, that know herself, you know what I mean? That's taking the time to evolve and to, to deal with her traumas, you know what I'm saying? And to ask herself the hard questions and to do the shadow work, you know, and to, uh, to grow, you heard me? That's that's a different type of woman. Those women are hard to find, but when you find them, you keep them. You know, like, you, you keep them and you cherish them. Um, that's one of the most beautiful things about a woman is, you know, when she's sure.
Because I feel like when a woman is sure and she reaches a place of, of self-knowledge, she liberates herself. And as a man, when I see a woman like that, I'm, I'm knowing that I have to approach this differently, treat this differently. I have to value this differently. And if, I, if I'm not willing to do those things, I need to stay away from this woman. I need to not touch her. And I think one of the most dangerous things a woman can do is devalue herself to be accepted. I think it's dangerous, you know what I mean? Because where does it end? To some people in society, a woman that's sexually liberated, financially liberated, a woman that's spiritually liberated, um, it's intimidating, you know what I'm saying? But to a person like me, I think that shit beautiful because that woman knows herself. Do I have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Judge. What? Please tell me what I need a boyfriend for. I pay for my own nails, my own hair, my own car note. I do everything by myself. Do I need? What do I need a boyfriend for? So he can tell me what I can and can't do? So he can tell me something that ain't even real? For love? Love ain't, nah, that love shit ain't real for real, like. I love myself and that's all the love I need. Nah, sis, you're not crazy. <laughs> Don't let that man convince you that you are either. You just peep game. You just peep the inconsistency, the lies, the way that his words and actions wasn't matching. A man is gonna call you crazy when he wants to leverage your emotional investment into him as a way to keep you blind to the disrespect he's been showing you. And sometimes he'll wanna keep you blind to yourself. Like, if you got in that relationship before you really knew who you were, like your value and how to love on yourself, a man could get comfortable bringing you to bare minimum. And then if you realize who you are during the relationship and you start loving yourself, so you require him to love you accordingly, that's the equivalent to you shaking the table that he got so comfortable bringing nothing to. So yeah, in his mind, it's like, hold on, wait. Where all of these standards come from? Where, where all of this self-esteem come from? What you mean I need to be accountable? What you mean you're gonna leave if I do this or talk to you like that again? You crazy, but don't let that spook you because it's better to be the woman that a man calls crazy than to be the woman that a man thinks he can play with like she's dumb. You simply need new friends. I left Atlanta in 2019. And when I came 2,000 miles away, I was always in a room with people who couldn't charge their value. I couldn't charge mine. And then I realized when I got to the other side of the country that it wasn't that I wasn't capable. It wasn't that my dreams were unattainable. It was simply that I needed new fucking friends. You need friends that are investors. You need friends that are attorneys. You need friends that are thinkers. You need friends that are prayers. You need friends that are next levels. You need friends with good credit. You need friends that aren't convicts. You need, fr you, you need friends that don't hate. You need, you, you need friends that can travel. You need friends with passports. You need friends with money. You need new friends. Maybe because I ain't never had no man. I never been in love, but I never understood Letting a man use your car as a woman. A fully grown, functional man using your car while you're at work? I don't think so. So, yeah, by 2023, let's pack that the fuck up and end that real quickly. The new motto is, if he don't got no car, he don't get that far. Yeah, and uh, right over here we have somebody that's been through thousands of life struggles and is still over here kicking ass and they just don't give themselves enough credit at the end of the day, which they need to. Smile, honey. There we go. You're a love. Keep kicking ass. Let's roll, guys.